So, it's wet and windy outside, and the wife says, You're under my feet, Jack. Go and do something useful. Go to the workshop. Make a video. So, here I am. Now, I'm talking helmets. In particular, open-faced helmets. The original lid, if you like. If you ride a classic bike, modern retro or custom cruiser, then it's probably more than likely that you don an open-faced helmet. It's a preferred choice of the genre, and it's my preferred choice. Now, before the health and safety nanny state start on the comment section, yes, I know, they're not as safe as a full-faced jobby. You see, I've been riding bikes for over 40 years now and are aware of the risks, but for me, it's how I like to ride. I do own a couple of full-faced helmets, but I still prefer an open-faced helmet. I like the freedom of the open face. I like the wind and the flies in my face. And for me, it works. So, now when I'm talking open face, there's no more iconic than the Bell Classic 500. Now, I say that because I own one myself. And I do own a few lids. And every now and again, I can't resist on buying another. The Bell Custom 500 for me is a benchmark. It's basically what I compare my other helmets against. Now, this helmet is a Roland Sands Design Checkerboard Edition. It's a gorgeous helmet, the finish is superb. The padded lining, although not leather, is well made. Inside sits a suede type lining. And the strap is a classic D-ring fitting. On the front, there are press studs. You can fit either a peak or a visor. Little bit of a tip, the built well ones also fit. I've got a couple of built well lids and a couple of different visors and uh, you will fit on the front. They also fit the bell ones as well. The shape of the helmet when on the head gives an oval shape, which you either like or you hate. For me, the fit is on the small side though, so beware. They are not the most comfortable of helmet neither. Maybe it's just the shape of my head, which is why I only wear this on a few occasions. Getting a pair of glasses on can also be difficult. So, I do recommend maybe go a size up. Try one on first before ordering if you can. Saying that though, I do like this helmet. But, I'm going to be honest, it's not my go-to lid. When I ordered mine, it also came with a complimentary red lined bag, which is very nice. And, uh, mine also came with a standard helmet bag. So, that's it for this review. Over the next months, I'll be reviewing a range of open-faced and retro helmets. So, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you would like to be kept informed of when I post. BFN, bye for now and stay safe.